What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about cleaning up. I'm gonna try not make you guys dizzy. Cleaning up, unpacking, and doing all the things in this messy as bleep kitchen. And we're gonna put some more fall stuff out, maybe some Halloween decor, and just kind of get this space settled a little bit. I've had several of you ask for like updated house stuff. So I might as well just kind of take you guys along with me as, as I do it, I guess. Let's just jump into the video, shall we? So a cleaning update <gasps> and a puppy they're eating lunch getting done eating lunch but I've got the counter all wiped down and done I need to wipe down this counter but I got this counter all done I need to wipe down that counter still but we are making headway I got a couple of new things to maybe do with this situation and I don't think Trent's gonna like it but that's okay and then I'm gonna do a little bit something different with this situation and then I already told you guys we're gonna do some stuff with that finish wiping down the counters and then we will put some new decor pieces out so I'll kind of give you guys a quick quick look at what we're working with here for things that I want to switch stuff out for and maybe decorate. Oh my gosh, can we talk about him? If you have um, seen my home goods hauls, which if you haven't, you should go watch them. But um, this guy is in there and then this tea kettle. I grabbed um, that at Target, but just some random things like this vase we've had for years. That's from Kirkland's. This is my Nora Fleming case with the little things that I have so far. We've got some floral stuff. We've got a puppy, this cheese board. Th these two items came from uh, my Kirkland's haul. This came from Home Goods. I'm gonna put this on the dining table, I think. But anyways, that's just a quick look at what we're working with here. We might use all of it. We might not, we'll see. I think I'm gonna start with the dining table. Okay. So we've got the Lazy Susan from the good old Home Goods. I thought that was an awesome idea. And then I think I'm gonna put the vase, this vase. This is from Macasa. Um, I think we've had it for a million and a bajillion years. I think I'm gonna put that in the middle, but I'm going to put the like floral stuff in it first. Napkin holder from Tarjay. Some Halloween napkins to get the season going. It is October 1st. They're kind of short. They're more like cocktail napkins or appetizer napkins, but that's okay. These, I got at Kirkland's. And I love Kirkland's. Like, I'm falling more and more in love with Kirkland's. Like, I'm just saying. So these were a little pricey, I will say. I did get them on sale, so Kirkland's always has a good sale. So these are um, pompous grasses. 
aren't those so pretty so they're gray they're gray and like white and they are a little pricey they're regularly $19.99 for um three cents but i got them for 20 percent off but i thought i might need to get more and oh they're super tall i didn't think that they would be that tall so i might need to cut them actually but you kind of get the idea right so here's the thing is that these like aren't gonna fully fill my base right but is what you can do is use these as like your base for you know your base or whatever i didn't mean to rhyme there and then like as the seasons go i've done this in several houses so these these are this is like the base and it stays as your staple but then like as the seasons go like christmas and fall and things like that you can just take um like get little accent if you will pieces and stems to um to complement them so then you don't have like you have like little splashes of um like fall decor like fall you know um foliage if you will like flowers and halloween and christmas and spring and so you stay with your base you know and then you just add in like splashes here and there so it's you're not spending a ton on changing over your stems and your bases and it's just like a splash of that holiday or that season instead of you know all out so i'm going to stick these guys in here now and then i think I'm gonna have to get Trent to help me cut them maybe. So, uh, here we go. All right, so you can kind of get that idea here, maybe. <laughs> um, and this pompous seed, like once I fan the grass out, it'll look a lot better, I just don't wanna spend too much time on it right now but you get the idea so nice and full sorry you probably cricket there so nice and full and i think it'll look really good in this window all right so i'm gonna get this put on there and then we'll jam through the rest of those so let's jump into this a little bit this guy I'll take you over here i think i'm gonna put this is like a cheese board or a charcuterie board thingy majigger but I think I'm gonna put it back there just for decorative and a store and then I might get another one like a marble kind of one or something I really want to find a bigger one like that that is like kind of big and substantial and isn't too wood woodish if you will so this fun item so I grabbed this at Home Goods, and I don't even know if it's gonna fit under here. I think it will. I don't know. I think I gotta move this guy. Let's try it. I'm definitely gonna, oh, that screeching noise. I'm definitely gonna have to dip down and under. He kind of rocks a little bit, so I'm not too happy about that. I was thinking this would be good for, I have a salt one of these. One that says salt, but I thought that would be super cute to like put stuff like that in. And I might move these canisters because now I think it's like too much going on over here. So I think I might put the canisters like over here or something to be determined. So I think I'm liking that here. I actually might um, like put these kind of down here and then maybe some like oils i think i actually have some decorative oil things but like put oil there and stuff would be super cute all right so i say all right so a lot sorry about that <laughs> but this tea kettle again if you've seen my home goods haul that's exactly where i wanted that and i think it goes great i could even put this on here i don't know does that look stupid that might look stupid i don't know we'll see maybe right there i don't know this tray i think i mentioned i got this from kirkland's as well 
I'm gonna swap out for this black tray here. And don't mind this candle holder thingy ma jigger. It's really dirty. I need to wipe it off, but I think that looks so much better. I don't know though. Love to see. I'm gonna put that on there. And then I thought that it would be fun. I usually put like vase fillers in here for um, the seasons, like the holidays, but I think it'll be fun to kind of put that around this inside of that tray. And this wasn't working. Like these, you know, I just stuck it in there and it wasn't, I don't know. This actually came out of our master bedroom. But I think that works. Then this, I don't know how much I'm a fan of having the fruit on the counter. A part of me is a fan, especially because we have so much counter space. But this basket, Trent's unpacking some stuff in his office, but this basket here just was not really doing it for me. So I'm thinking something more like this. I'm trying to do this one-handed. There we go. Something like this. And Trent will tell you that the bananas absolutely do not go with the rest of the fruit. But look how cute that is. The bananas go perfect. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see how long that lasts. But then, now we've knocked out this basket and the little hook thing. And I think it looks so much better. So we've got that. And then we gotta find a spot for this guy. All right. I don't know where to put him. Okay. I think he goes here. I think he belongs right there. And he's like monitoring everything. <laughs> These, I'm not sure I'm gonna get them out and put them in the kitchen. I actually think I might put them in my master bedroom, but, and then these were just glasses that I had gotten. Nora Fleming, not sponsored, but I became a fan of Nora Fleming um, actually at my aunt and uncle's house. My aunt had this tray on, and she still has it to this day, but she had this tray. Let me move this out of the way. Um, All right, so she had this tray similar to, it's actually the same exact tray, and she uses it for pretty, what I use it for. And then I realized, like after I found this, I realized there's like a whole Nora Fleming thing. It's like a Ray Dunn deal. I mean, I'm not even kidding. So it's basically different dishes and stuff like this. I'll leave a link to the, her website or the website down below. But um, basically like everything kind of has a little hole in it and then you can get these little, there's a ton of these little, like charms, if you will, that you can change out with the seasons. And so I need to get some more because I don't think I have even near, like I don't even know if I have any Christmas, but um, but they're super fun. Like there's like mixing bowls, all kinds of stuff. So like I have a, like a three leaf cover, I guess, for St. Patrick's Day. And I totally missed getting the one out for fall. <laughs> but um, we're still moving in here. But I have this one for Halloween. So I usually put that one on here. And this is a, whoops, this is a whiteboard. So if you didn't see it in the beginning of the video, this is a whiteboard. You can write like lists on or messages, things like that. And then I have this the one. This guy, he's still got the tag on him. Oops. That put in here and then they just, um, they just push down and sometimes you have to, depending on the charm, you gotta kind of help it along, especially if they're new. So 
all there. Now we've got our hand and we've got our little pumpkins. And then that was the flag. I think that's all the ones I have. I have the blue chair, the pumpkins. Oh, I have a candy corn too. So actually I'll put, I usually, that reminds me, I usually put this one out during um, fall and like uh, Thanksgiving sometimes along with the autumn leaf and then this one. I totally remember now having the candy corn was on there. But I think the hand one is funny because it's next to the hand soap. <laughs> or I usually put the hand soap next to there. So that is those. My dirty soaps that I need to wash. And then you can get the little the little case and to hold them. One last thing <laughs> that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope this video isn't gonna be like crazy, crazy long. But I have this tray, which you saw me move around. Um, it's from Target, it's like the Magnolia Homes or whatever. I like these because I use, sorry, hello. Uh, to put like little, and I'll put some Halloween snacks in here eventually when I, when I get them. But this is fun to put little like candies and, candies and like nuts and stuff in. So we've got like these Godiva chocolates, just to like, you know, grab and go and um, snack on and stuff. So let's see. And these are coincidentally like fall colors, <laughs> but this usually has candies in it. These are keto cups. I don't know, Trent got these at Costco. So I'll do some of those. And then I think I'll put some uh, some nuts in this one. These are just like random stuff that I have laying around right now, but um, we're gonna try these out and see how it goes. Usually nuts are fine to, to leave out like this. It's usually like stuff with like a lot of like candy that's unwrapped that we could potentially have issues with. Um, but yeah, so just something that's super fun and decorative, but um, also has a purpose. Yep. Hey everyone, future editing Felicia here. So I realized that I have once again forgotten to film an outro for you guys. So if y'all are still watching this video, thank you so much for watching. It truly does mean the world to me. And if you have not yet hit the subscribe button down below, Go ahead and click on that and join me on this bleep show of a journey I have going on around here. And again, thank you so much for watching and we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.